I like this question. Dan, do you still believe in junior dev for life? <laughs> I think it's... Uh... Perhaps we should explain what it is first for the people yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so I think I I, I saw this uh, motto. Uh, I think Ryan Florence had this in his bio or something like this, and uh, I copied it. So the the idea is, like with anything in the internet, it has a shelf life. Uh, I think its shelf life has somewhat passed, but yeah. the way I think about it is. Uh, there is this I think there is this kind of harmful perception of like uh, like there are sin like I don't like I'm sorry I don't like the term like senior software ah, yeah, yeah. It's, me neither like usually uh, it um, it's kind of arbitrary like it's different in different companies uh, it gives some kind of a sense of pretense that I don't really qu like I mean I get that yeah, it also it's kind of like it, it what I dislike about it is that it gives the impression that development as a developer is linear yeah where it's more like a s w weird star kind of thing yeah like you move into like it's it's way it, you can't model growth as a developer as like oh level one level two level three I mean, I, th I think like you, uh, you kind of can have levels in terms of like responsibilities that you take on, and like, but the way you execute on those responsibilities could be very different, and uh, it's just kind of a very binary way of looking at things, and it also uh, like there is some appeal to authority there. Oh, like a senior developer said that they must really know what they talk about. And like, there's nothing wrong. Like, I, I don't want to, uh, like, obviously some people are more experienced and of course uh, it's uh, it's good to recognize that somehow. Uh, and like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I have a, uh, like a particularly strong position on that, but sometimes I, I see this term uh, being used in, uh, like the opposite being used in some uh, derogatory sense, uh, like uh, yeah. saying that, oh, like you're not senior yet, like you don't really know what you're talking about. And uh, I kind of wanted to push against this uh, because I think people build in products, people who are actually like in the field often have like way more insight into the challenges uh, than people who are like architects in ivory towers. and. Um, I think it's just important that you keep building stuff that actual people use. Um, you know, like it's the same how JavaScript developers and like front end developers were uh, being undervalued for a long time. And I think it's only. Yeah, it was considered uh, like not real development because yeah. it's, yeah, it's just like clicky clicky thing because that is what JavaScript was like for many, many years ago, then it was very primitive and it was just like adding a little bit of animation back and forth with jQuery. Yeah. And then those same people that learn how to do that, just complete, like because they haven't done any front end development, they just missed the fact that it had gotten enormously much more complex during uh, the last 10 years or so that has passed between the point where they last did it. Like right now, I would say that front-end development in many cases is more complex than uh, back-end development. Yeah, because like it's super stateful and you, there is this latency that you can't avoid, which you don't, like you have some latency on back-end, but it's not comparable to like seconds of latency. So you have this combination of like problems like caching, latency, uh, being responsive, scheduling, uh, like optimistic updates, consistency, real-time collaboration, all of these like hardest problems combined into one. And like exactly. it's supposed to be usable at the same time and accessible and like uh, work in different cultures, languages, right to left support. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, and like from a, like it, it has become so competitive as well. Like people expect so much out of, out of front-end applications. Yeah. And like the thing with backend development is that it's uh, it mostly becomes more complex 
like in scaling. That's where backend development becomes really, really hard, uh, which only really happens once your app becomes very, very popular. However, uh, like front end development, like that's very complex already when you have pretty few users because you have to solve all those problems already yeah. then. Yeah. So it's like a front end developer uh, at a at a small company needs to be much be better than a back end developer at a small company because you can get away with so much more cheating in a like in in a back end a back end of an application that is that yeah. is not used by a lot of users. Yeah. So that, that that's why I think that uh, like it, it seemed uh, like at the time I think I was kind of trying to push against that uh, like preconception. Uh, by uh, kind of like I, like I don't feel uh, that I'm like a senior software developer and stuff like this. Um, but I think with time, what happened was that uh, people started looking at that as kind of a humble brag. Like, oh, like yeah, sure. Like you work at Facebook, you're like on the React team, but yeah, junior developer, sure. So it it actually is. Uh, I think it's actually. Uh, the, like the pendulum swung in the other direction, where you can say that this is kind of undervaluing the actual like expertise that he gained with time, and um, you know, like I don't know. I just, yeah. I just remember <laughs> that uh, I I wrote some posts about this. So I I, I have this blog uh, over reacted IO, and it has yeah. these two posts about. Things I don't know, which people still like. People still quote this thing, uh, and like some people quote it as, "Oh, like it, it, it's so cool that I don't have to." But, like there, there are people who can openly admit that maybe, maybe they're like they're they're not complete beginners, but they still have a lot of knowledge gaps. Yeah, I think it's fine to admit knowledge gaps, and like uh, it doesn't devalue your expertise. But then I also wrote this book because like a lot of people are like, "Oh, this guy doesn't know anything." <laughs> yeah. So I, I wrote this post called, uh, called uh, "Elements of UI Engineering" about the, like the what's actual problems it? that. What's it? What's it called again? The elements of UI engineering. All right. So that 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 post is about some of the uh, like of the problems that I think that are interesting in in the UI space that I have some experience with, and have thought about, and um, like one doesn't contradict the other. You can you can have a lot of knowledge gaps. Uh, but you can know how to learn, and you you know what that so like these particular topics exist. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just kind of solve problems as you as you discover them. I love it. <laughs>